At GE, we put real ideas to work by looking at what the world needs, inventing, and creating the things that matter most. Helping the world work more efficiently. We believe in Vietnam's endless potential. It's been a decade-long journey of making life better, safer, cleaner, more sustainable, more livable. We're dedicated to further developing local innovation. By making the things that move, power, cure, and build the entire nation. Working with local companies to drive the economy forward. We're with progress. We're with opportunities. We're with growth. We're with Vietnam. A house divided against itself cannot stand. As a nation of free men, we must live through all time or die by suicide. America's greatest battle, as you have never seen it before. Over three days, across these ridges and fields, through these woods and creeks, on this ground, America will live or die. cannot escape history. Pickett gives the order. General Armistead steps to the front of his brigade, raises his sword. Virginians, Virginians, for your lands, for your homes, for your sweethearts, for your wives, for Virginia, forward, march! General Lee watches his Confederate soldiers march past. Smoke fills these fields, a breeze blows. The smoke dissipates, revealing perhaps the greatest sight in American military history. 13,000 Confederate soldiers emerge in battle formation. Here they come, shout Union troops along these stone walls. The splendor lasts a moment. Union cannons open fire, tearing through scores of men but the rebels reform their lines and keep coming across these fields. They keep coming. 
13,000 Confederates move out from the woods. Almost half cross this road in battle formation. Now thousands of Union troops open fire. Rebel ranks disintegrating, push onward towards the Union lines 300 yards away. From this road to the copse of trees is 300 yards. The rebels push on, the Union fire furiously. General Louis Armistead places his hat on the tip of his sword, lifts it overhead, shouts to his men, Come forward, Virginians. Come on, boys. We must give them the cold steel. Who will follow me? The rebels surge over this stone wall. The Union line collapses back. Both sides firing at point-blank range. The rebels pierce the Union line. Armistead reaches for the cannon in front of him. Will the line hold? Will the rebels take this ridge, this battle, this war, destroy this nation, the end of these United States? Our trade finance organization is perhaps the most innovative in the industry. They provide solutions, they provide connectivity, and they provide a way forward for our clients. It's about providing end-to-end -end seamless service where we are stepping into our clients' shoes in many situations and providing the full product set just to empower them to be able to run and do their businesses in a better way. City have helped both the company and our suppliers in achieving our financial objectives. They understand our needs and they understand the business requirements to deliver both value to our customers and to our shareholders. City for us has been one of those banks that have provided us with flawless services in the whole trade arena. And the trade side of the business, uh, they have been extremely helpful to show us what types of products are available now. Our MIAC service contact with this uh, new supply chain finance program will be more attractive for new suppliers as well as existing suppliers. The only bank that gave us the opportunity to, to have access to to trade and to letters of credit and, and to, to short-term money was city. It's a win-win situation for MIAC, for the supplier and for the whole metro group. I think city really is a world-class bank in every respect. Not only is it present around the world, but it's the standard of service that is world-class. If you're not doing business with city bank, then you're missing out on the future. <laughs> Trade, commerce, began thousands of years ago, some experts say as far back as 150,000 years. Prehistoric people bartered goods and services with each other in the days before currencies existed. As they exchanged goods, they also exchanged ideas, cultures, and language. It was partly through trading with one another that ancient cultures developed into civilized communities. The trade goes way back in history. I, I think it's an outgrowth of the human being's natural curiosity about how other people live. The great economist Adam Smith, uh, sort of the great-great-grandfather of all modern economists, said uh, humankind has a natural propensity to truck, barter, and exchange one thing for another. So it, it, it's almost like it's in our genes that we like to trade. The first barriers to trade were geographical, rivers, mountains, deserts, distance. 